Hey guys, it's Megan. In today's video, I'll be showing you five different Halloween themed drawing prompts that I came up with. These ideas are perfect for those of you who are doing Inktober this year, or if you just want to get into the Halloween spirit. But before we get into it, I wanted to quickly let you guys know that I finally made merch. I've been wanting to do this forever, and I really hope that you guys like it. If you want to check it out, I'll have it linked in the description. But with all that being said, let's just get into the video. The first idea that I have for you guys is to create a drawing inspired by a Halloween costume that you've worn in the past. This was actually based off of a real costume that I wore one year. Don't ask me what it's supposed to be, it's honestly just an old wedding dress with fake blood all over it. But this is one of my favorite pictures, and the story behind this is that I was in Girl Scouts when I was younger, and we occasionally did things with the Boy Scouts, and they had an event called the Haunted Trail, where we got to set up our own little haunted house portion, so we made our own props and costumes, and the thing that says no forgiveness in the background is a sheet, and it's tacked up to the wall. I got to hide behind that and jumped out at people. It was so much fun. Uh, I definitely made a few kids cry, which I don't know what that says about me, but I thought that that meant that I did a pretty good job. I didn't do anything too special to color it in, just the same thing that I usually do, using a mixture of alcohol-based markers and colored pencils to shade it a little. I didn't feel like trying to draw the lace on the dress, so I used these stickers that I got at the Dollar Tree. That was one of those things that I bought thinking, I bet I could use that one day. And what do you know, I actually did. That honestly never happens. I painted the walls with dark brown paint to match the walls in the photo, and used a white gel pen to draw a few cobwebs in the corners. The most fun part about this drawing was adding the blood. I did that using red acrylic paint and these new detail brushes that Arteza sent me. My favorite part was painting the tiny handprints all over it. After everything dried, I sealed the page with some matte Mod Podge. I've gotten into the habit of doing this over some of the quote-unquote nicer pages in my sketchbook, and it's worked really well so far. So here's how the finished page turned out. There's really not much to say about this, but I honestly love it. The next idea is to draw your favorite Halloween candy. You can do this in a few different ways. You could just make a page with some of your favorites like I did, or you can rank them from best to worst. You could even glue in real candy wrappers if you wanted to. I really wanted to do an idea for this video where I used real candy wrappers to make outfits for characters, but I didn't have any candy at my house. I feel like that would be fun to do though. On this page, I drew a pumpkin filled with some of my favorite candies. I initially only planned to draw three types of candy, but since I did the pumpkin thing, I needed to pick a few more to fill it. My favorite candy to get was always Three Musketeers, Kit Kats, and Milky Ways. My least favorite was probably Whoppers, and I always gave those and a few of the other ones to my dad. I feel like I did a decent job shading the pumpkin, but by the time I got to the candy inside, not gonna lie, I was a little bit over it. Oh yeah, and for the record, I think that candy corn is kinda gross, unless it's the chocolate flavored kind, but I needed to fill up the space in there. Which, comment down below, do you like candy corn or do you not? Cause I feel like that's a largely debated topic for some reason. Anyways, I painted the background purple to bring everything together, and here's how the finished page turned out. It's definitely not perfect, but I like that it's something that I wouldn't normally draw. Another fun thing you can do is to draw yourself as a witch. I actually did this last year, but it honestly doesn't look so great. This time, I went for a slightly more cartoony style, making the eyes just black dots inside of the glasses, and doing a super simple nose and mouth. The outfit is actually based off of another Halloween costume that my mom made for me when I was 9 or 10. Which again, I had to black out the face so that YouTube doesn't turn my comments off, but it's fine because it didn't look so hot in this picture. It was very sunny and I was squinting. I took a few artistic liberties, of course, like removing the long sleeve shirt that I had on under the costume in the picture and adding a red band around the hat. That was always the problem on Halloween where I live. It was generally below 50 degrees and you were honestly lucky if it didn't snow. I drew my cat peeking out from behind me. She's supposed to look like a ghost, but I'm not sure how well I achieved that. Anyways, since I was holding a broom in the photo, I decided to draw myself stirring a cauldron full of something, which of course I had to make purple. I made the floor blue and painted the background orange. 
Then, I used a brown Posca pen and a ruler to make shelves in the background. To fill up the shelves, I used some Halloween stickers that I had. So here's how the finished page turned out. I really like all of the stickers in the background, but I'm not sure how I feel about how I did the eyes. The fourth idea is to create art using fall leaves. I did a variation of this in my fall sketchbook ideas video that I did last year, but this year I decided to do something a little different. Go outside and collect some leaves. The ones that are more flexible work the best. Take some wax paper and paper towels and lay out a paper towel, a sheet of wax paper, your leaves, another sheet of wax paper, and then another paper towel. Use an iron to melt the wax paper together, and when one side is done, flip the wax paper over and iron the other side. After it cools, peel the wax paper apart. The next part is optional, but I like to cover both sides of my leaves with Mod Podge for stability. Cover one side, let it dry, then flip them over to do the other side. I thought it would be fun to try drawing on my leaves. I drew a simple mandala design with a white Posca pen on this one. And obviously, you can do whatever you want on this, you don't have to do a mandala design. I've seen people paint like nature scenes, or you could even do a Halloween scene really just anything you can think of. My Posca pens are kind of running out, so I went over some of the lines with white acrylic paint. If you don't have Posca pens, you can just use paint and a small brush. Another fun thing to do with leaves is to make leaf rubbings. For this part, you'll need some fresher, more green leaves, because the lines tend to show up better on those. Take a few old broken crayons and peel off the wrapper. Tape a piece of paper to your work surface place a leaf on top, and tape another piece of paper on top of that. Rub the side of your crayon all over the leaf to reveal the design. As you can see, there were a few marks on the paper on the bottom, which is why it's important to have something under the leaves. Thinner computer paper works best for this project, so these make a great element to glue in your sketchbook. Make as many leaf rubbings as you'd like, and when you're done, you'll have something like this. I cut all of my leaf rubbings out to use as collage elements. I arranged a few of the leaves on the back of a sketchbook page and attached them with a glue stick. I've been challenging myself to use the front and back of each page in my sketchbook, so this is another great option for pages that have bled through. I used more Mod Podge to attach the real leaf to the center of the page. I ended up cutting off the stem because I didn't want the page to be too bulky, so I drew one on with a Posca pen instead. I put something heavy on the leaf and let it dry overnight. If you're a little less patient, hot glue would work too. And just like before, I covered the page with matte Mod Podge so the crayon wouldn't transfer to the opposite page. So here's how the finished page turned out. This was a really fun process, and it's a nice thing to do when you want to make something but drawing just isn't happening. The last idea is an easy-ish way to tackle Inktober. I know Inktober has already started, but I thought this might still help some of you guys out. Instead of doing a full page every day, you can divide one page into smaller sections and fill it up that way. I've seen people do this on TikTok, usually with canvases, where they fill up a square every day. I decided to draw the characters from the new Addams Family movie, which, people of YouTube, if you're watching this, this is not a kid's video. I just really like the Addams Family. I literally have a whole Wednesday Addams collection, so naturally I had to draw her first. The proportions of the new character designs gave me some trouble. For some reason, Wednesday has a super elongated head, and I definitely didn't get it exactly right. This ended up being a bit more challenging than I anticipated, but I had fun doing it. I colored the characters the same way that I always do, using a mixture of my Ohuhu brush markers and some Prismacolor colored pencils. I painted the background blue to kind of match the movie poster, and then I used a straw dipped in darker blue paint to add more detail. I drew six different characters and made a TikTok to go with each one. If you want to see the rest of them, head over to my Instagram or TikTok, they're both at WeilerMegs, I'll be posting them over there over the next few days. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one. And make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. They are all at WellerMegs. 
Also, I have a new website that you can check out at www.meganweller.org. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!